particularly, to have a look at the Cup finalists, see how they were shaping up as they prepared for that game in a fortnight's time at Hamden and the Scottish Cup final. And, of course, to see Rangers as they form themselves anew for the season coming up. But then, of course, they ran out in the park and we saw incredible team selections, forced on both clubs as a result of both injuries and suspensions. And a man who got the biggest cheer as he came on was a gentleman who's been around for some time and who has just won himself the Scottish Footballer of the Year award. Hamish McAlpin, at the age of 37, one of the oldest men ever to have won that Football Writers Player of the Year award. The only man older than him to have achieved that was Ronnie Simpson when he played in that successful Celtic side. A great servant who was almost out of the side at the beginning of the season, fought his way back in and had superlative displays, particularly one I can remember down at Old Trafford against Manchester United. Now, immediately in front of him this afternoon is a rather odd, if not to say bizarre, Dundee United selection forced on them by injury and suspension. For example, they have two youngsters in central defence with uh, John Clark at number five, who's basically a striker, but who played in defence last week, and uh, young Bowman. And then uh, up front, uh, we have the likes of Alec Taylor, who's playing uh, remarkably well, and Gordon McLeod, 17 years of age, making his debut today, with in midfield uh, players like uh, Ralph Mill, and at fullback, Stuart Beattie, who scored that remarkable goal against Aberdeen in the semi-final. That is some formation. And the whistle is in the mouth of uh, Douglas Downey of Edinburgh, ready to start the game on a pitch which looks uh, very bare in the middle. Rangers team selection, by the way, is a bit unusual as well, with uh, so many injuries and suspensions. We have uh, Bobby Russell, of course, playing in the team. And Ferguson coming in there, Eric Ferguson. Burns and Monroe, the fullbacks. That was Burns, and it's a throw to Rangers. Bobby Russell just chesting at pass. Well, there is Russell, to my mind, uh, a highly accomplished player. Certainly hasn't settled at Ibrox into the side this season. But on his game, one of the purest. Coin. Very quickly taken by Derek Johnson. Good counter-attack by Rangers, Durant. We well, looked a little bit cumbersome there. That's a corner kick. Seemed to run out of nerve. Fritz taking it. Denny Johnston. Durant. And it slides away. But the first two real efforts in the match, the Rangers, after seven minutes, with that very good header by Derek Johnston, very packed defence, finding it difficult to get through and ending with that Durant shot. McPherson's very short with it. Paul Sturrock, he scored. 1 0. And you cannot give Paul Sturrock chances like that, and Vic, he'll miss them. He was very sharp onto that really atrocious pass back. And look at that, that's a delicate finish. It certainly had plenty of pace, but it was well under control. After seven minutes, United are one up. Fritz. Good run forward by Durant. Yes. Youngster with an old head on his shoulders. Obviously an intelligent player. If used properly, he will be an asset to Rangers. Here's Johnston. Time to bring it down and away by Bowman easily. McCoist. Fritz, little double shuffle. Characteristic of him. Can he chip it? He does. And away by Bannon of all people. Ferguson and there's McPherson trying to go for it. Malthus there first. And United sustained pressure successfully, and this is where they've been good. 
breaking from the penalty area. Oh, look at that. Mill running onto it. He's going to let fly. The cloud. And away by Johnson. And Rangers on the counter-attack now, and that will be a free kick. Well, now. I mean, you, you cannot get more classical Dundee United play than that. Using speed, accuracy in the pass, and then the final shot, which Walker just got behind. Nice touch by Burns. Bobby Russell. Good follow-up by Burns. Good run. Burns trying to go through on his own. Superb play by the Rangers pullback. Delighting a very sizable Rangers support. The kind of aggression with skill that they're looking for in the side. Russell. There's Burns again. He's onside. He's got to measure it well. And he does. And that's it. No. Off the line. Ferguson. Couldn't put it in. It looked easier to score. A remarkable miss there. That ball deceived everybody. I don't think it's quite what uh, the fullback intended. Right across the goal. Could have gone in the first time. And then that chance by Ferguson. It lacked precision on the final touch. Coin. Uh, it's just to have been fouled. Free kick. Just touched away there, and very well indeed by striker Ferguson, who's in there, Paul Sturrock. There's Milne, that's a side net, and that is a very good save. Typical understanding between Milne and Sturrock. Sturrock laying it back to him, and that was the quickness of the entry of Milne there that deceived everybody, but the Rangers goalkeeper did well to parry it. There's Clark! Two nothing. Absolutely no cover at all. And the big defender does what he's been asked to do previously in the season as a striker. Get into the right position at the right time and score the right kind of goal. 36 minutes gone, two nothing. A oh, good shot by the fullback. He may as well try. That's 100% better than some of the efforts as uh, front men have been turning in. Controlled that shot very well. There goes Coyne. Through to Sturrock. Oh, that's a very good save. Oh, it was a good save. And I wonder if the referee is giving a free kick for the tackle of the goalkeeper. No, he's not. It's a goal kick, so that was a miss. Well, the referee's enjoying all that. That was another dreadful slip of the Rangers' defence. Sturrock had that opportunity, but very good goalkeeping by Walker, suffocating that. There's McKinnon. Fritz. Ooh! It's a great effort by the Swede. That's the way to take him. OK, it was off the mark. But there was a, a hint of adventure in the way he went after that. Lashing out at it. It was controlled, all right, but just to the side of the post. Derek Johnson just getting that touch. There goes Bobby Russell to Pritz, who's promised something for Rangers this afternoon. Look at McAlpin. Oh. He was right out to that, much to the surprise of uh, that defence. Well, he's the, the daddy in that penalty area today, as it were. The combined ages of the defenders, just barely exceeding his age. There's the header by McPherson, and a bit unfortunate that time. 
Good timing, good jump. And the elevation just slightly over, slightly underneath that he got. There goes the halftime whistle. And United's makeshift team and very young team must be feeling delighted with themselves and the manager too. But a very balanced performance, full of enterprising football and well led by Paul Sturrock in the seventh minute, punishing Rangers for that dreadful pass back by McPherson, but doing it with aplomb. And then up came the youngster who is a striker, but playing in central defence today to take advantage of that uh, lapse in the Rangers' defence when nobody seemed to be noticing he had come into the penalty area. 2 nothing for United. And uh, what has been, overall, taking Rangers' play into account as well, a very entertaining first half. Well, there's the bouncing figure of Ted McMahon, who's on for Rangers at the start of the second half. And they've rearranged the side. Derek Johnson, who took a fine knock in the uh, first half, is not on. So David McKinnon has gone back to centre defence with Ted McMahon on the right wing for Rangers now. United, as I said, played very pleasant football, flowing football in that first half. Durant. Oh, there's dreadful hesitancy in that Rangers side today in defence. Buns. Well, as I said before, you don't make pass banks like that unless you have the utmost confidence in the goalkeeper. And they do here. Here's Taylor. Got to go straight through Monroe. No. Rather hasty shot there by McLeod. And a corner out of that. And there by Mill, and there's nobody in the middle, and... <laughs> that defence has looked very shaky. Eamon Bannon. Clark is up. The ball falls loose. I suspect there'll be more goals in this match. Here's Stoddock. Taylor. A uh, coin, rather. Bannon. To Clark. A little bit too strong with that pass. There's McKinnon and a Fanko. Just gets out of it, and although he was partially fouled, there's a the run for McMahon. McMahon, who had a bad toe injury and has recovered from it. We suspected he may not have played for the rest of the season, but there he is. Take it on Mao. Mill leaves it for McMahon. No, oh, a bit slow in bringing that down. As it go again, but no strength behind that. Buns. He has had an impressive match. And back there by Malthus. He put punish from Rangers like that every so often. Oh, give it away, and Mill, Bannon, feels for a penalty, that was very close, it's a, certainly a foul, and the referee judges it to be just outside the box. Banner with it. 
There's Clark with the header. Now that was one of these efforts where you think a man of his bulk couldn't quite get to it because he almost had his back to go. It shows you how agile he is. forward there uh, is Mill. It's a low one and a bad one by Mill. And the game at the moment with uh, five minutes gone consists of Rangers trying to stop United from getting into the penalty area. Pickman. Russell caught out, faded away in this game, Bobby Russell. Right through the middle, and there's McKinnon with a terrible lapse again. Coyne. And there's a save from McLeod. Much too elaborate. And that had been stunning in there, I think he would have buried it. There's a miss again, Coyne. Free kick. And brought down, and that Rangers defence has a huge hole in it. should be interesting it seems to me as if Bannon is going to try one of his specials no he's not Taylor gets a corner the Rangers defense were prepared for one of these kind of banana bend ones that every now and again Bannon throws out so corner kick corner kick right off the United player and after that in the middle Barnes whoosh, just got away with that still hasn't been cleared Monroe Rangers suddenly disjointed at the moment Coyne gets a header in and I think if you're not to back the way the chances are Mill might have picked something up McCoyst neat turn by McCoyst Well, the turning was right. Very reminiscent of the way Stuttgart can turn quickly, but uh, again, the shooting very erratic. It's Clark again. Fritz. Go to Rangers. Bobby Russell can't get his shot in, and there's no offside. Ferguson trying to turn it, and all Rangers get is a corner kick. Fritz to take it. Curls away. McPherson is up. Inside it goes to Durant. There's a chance for McCoyst, and he scores! 
Rangers are back in the business. Ali McCoist drifting into the penalty area there and getting as much latitude as the Rangers defence gave John Clark earlier on and lofting that away from McAlpin and it's now 2-1, 17 minutes of the second half gone. Bannon, I think he may try a shot at goal, he does. There is a deflection and it is a corner kick. Paul Sturrock, has it gone over? No, everybody looked across towards the linesman, still the pressure is on, Rangers always giving that away, Bannon, and out it goes, let's have a look at that one, now, looked as if it was going over, and the Rangers defence, I thought, might have just fleetingly conceded that and got it away. McKinnon. Black. Russell. On to McCoist. He turned well on it. Well, he's done that once or twice. He's just lacked a little bit of balance for the finish. But he's gone round his defender well and has, uh, by large, had an effective game for Rangers today. Kinnan. There goes Durant, a little slow going for it. Yes, he was impeded as a free kick. Indirect free kick. And according to our watch, the 90 minutes are up. We're now into injury time. Which there might be a minute or so. Men didn't even attempt to go for that. And there goes the final whistle. That's it. But the United, preparing for the cup final, have had a win in an entertaining game in many ways. Uh, Rangers fighting back. You never give up, of course. But I think uh, United just deserving that victory. Well, 2-1 the final score, and I don't think we can uh, read too much significance into that game, but uh, let me congratulate young John Clark, 20 years of age, drafted into that central defensive uh, position in the place of substantial uh, figures like uh, Paul Hegarty and David Neri, played like a veteran, scored an excellent goal, and won the Player of the Match award and thoroughly deserved to do so. I also like the play of Ali McCoy's for Rangers today. He always troubled that uh, defence at times, and I think he was unfortunate twice in doing a kind of Paul Sturrock a swivel in the penalty area, which might have brought Rangers an equaliser, but I do think uh, Dundee United deserve to win this game by two goals to one. Commiserations, by the way, since we're talking about the Premier Division, to people in Dumbarton and Greenock, because your sides have gone down definitely into the First Division. Dumbarton lost at Love Street today by one goal to nothing, and Morton lost to Hebs 2-1. That means they're back down again, almost like yo-yos, but uh, you never know, keep fighting, you might come back up again. Best of luck anyway.